What's up Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with another part of our Attila Total War campaign playing as the Saxons. And in the last episode we did take a Reglia from the Langobards after a bloody battle and we have secured even more of Germany for ourselves. And also Attila has been born so we now have a new threat on the horizons, the Huns will be on the march. Uh, very soon I imagine. Uh, the plan is in this episode is secure more Britain. Hopefully we don't have to run into any fights over here in Germania. I, well, I'd like to actually fight the Saxons, not the Saxons, the Franks. Obviously we are the Saxons, don't want to be fighting, fighting ourselves. Um, could not be doing the Civil War right now. And, well, the plan is probably to well, secure, we're going to have a few rebellions secure these last few provinces. And then uh, certainly march out. So I think the plan is we could actually probably take out Corinum. So I may do that now. And if not, then we can certainly put it under siege if there's a large army here, which there isn't. So, we could probably just auto-resolve this, um, which I will do so. This isn't too much of a problem. There we go. Take that. So, I'll start off with a nice little auto-resolve. We lost probably more than I'd have liked. Um, I'm going to occupy. Don't really want to uh, do anything else. Um, there is a lot of... Well, I'm just going to destroy all this. And we'll just... Repair that for now, and that is going to cause a rebellion, um, which I didn't really think about. Didn't think about it at all, really, but oh well. Um, Lindum should be fine for a turn. It's going to be these ones that's going to be a problem. Whether it will spawn here in Kalmadulum, it's quite possible. If so, I can go over there and knock it out, and then we can just stand in Londinium and attack either one, and we should be safe. So, I'll just quickly look at diplomacy and see whether... There's anything that we can do. The Macamans, maybe. Well, no, they won't become a tributary. What was I thinking? Um, the Quadians may want something. Non-aggression. Yes, we can get some non-aggression going. And a uh, an alliance. They would happily take an alliance. Okay. Seven hundred. No. Okay, a little less. But they are certainly wanting an alliance. Five hundred. There we go. That will do. Uh, Lyria is. We can now see Illyria. Welcome, um, I suppose. They're not at war with the Ostrogoths, and these guys are all, are at war with the Ostrogoths. Be welcome. I will get a non-aggression with them, I think, actually, because they are raiding. Well, they're they're nearby, so that could be handy. Eight hundred. Yeah, that's fine. And I won't get anything else with them. I don't really want them in my lands as a horde. Um, what I was going to look at was whether the Danes would do anything. Well, met I would like to get the Danes in the Same. north. Yep, there we go. Secured. That is good. So we've got non-aggression now. I uh, just looked at that. No, I think we're probably fine apart from there. Um, whether the Picts would do anything, I don't know. They're, they are a tributary of the Caledonians. I didn't know that. They will take a non-aggression pack. Uh, not a non-aggression, a defensive alliance. That's good. Maybe the Caledonians will do trade now? Oh, no, we can't trade now, of course. But they don't want a defensive alliance. Interesting. Um. Oh, no, wait a minute. The Picts have the pup them as a puppet state. Okay, so the Caledonians are the ones that aren't in charge, basically. Okay. Um... I'm going to put in the Chieftain's Hall because we have the money and also uh, help the public order massively in this area, so we'll do that. Though it could be better off served here in Calm Dunham, I think. But there could be a rebellion here next time, so I'm not going to do that. No, we'll keep it there. End the turn and we will see what happens. And they want me to join a war against the Franks for 900. I am not ready to fight a war with the Franks. You are honorable um, yep, we can take a defensive alliance with the Vandals for 600 quid. That would be perfectly fine. The Burgundians are another faction actually I should be worried about. Uh, they are quite large and quite strong. Um, it's probably why I'm going to keep an army definitely in Germany now because, well, can't really afford to lose Tullifurdum at the moment. Uh, it's still definitely my economic base. So we'll see what happens there. But anyway, I hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy and uh, self isolated self-isolating or whatever you have to do it's a torrid time but I mean it's good for me being able to make videos but which is the only plus out of it but it looks like the Western Roman Empire is doing some raiding over here they're gonna not take any land back from the Macamans but they're just gonna raid it I would probably take it back if I could 
They're gonna need every bit of land they can get. And there we go, there is a rebellion. Um, give them equal rights. Um, because I would like to turn to Latin Christian, if anything. And there we go, there is the rebellion kicking off. I'm then gonna move into Londinium after we finish this. So auto resolve, just be aggressive. Kill this little Britain rebellion. Take on the wall. Oh, we lost a unit. That is not going to help. Um, and then I'll replace that with some units. Uh, yeah, two units of spears should do. That will help very nicely. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with the rest. Oh, actually, I need to convert all this. Uh, do I want to convert this to a... A religious thing when I really want to turn to Latin Christian. So I'm going to actually keep that there, I think. See if I can convert to Latin Christian. So I don't know if I actually really want to keep this burg. I might be better off just... Getting rid of it. I'm going to leave it for now. See... I don't know. We'll see if we, when we get closer to the time. Um, Nordic Gay. This could be pretty handy in Artisan. Or do we want to put in a well? Help with... Sanitation and growth. Hmm. I'm we'll gonna put in an artisan help with Nordic Brigade. Um, because we actually haven't got one on the mainland. Um well not on the mainland, but on the island. We have got one over here, I'm pretty sure now. We do, and it's got not very much in it, but we can get some pikes. Thought we were able this would have allowed us to get Nordic Brigade. Well I thought these guys were Oh, these are Nordic Brigade. Okay. Well, they're very cheap. Not great. Um, what can it upgrade to? Obviously, when we have money. Um, oh, a smithy. I would like to get a smithy because that will allow us to get Nordic Axe Warband. And they were very, very good when we used them in the first episode. Though we look unluckily lost them in a bloody battle. Um, we can upgrade this. I think I will put in Hunting Grounds because it's like our unique settlement thing here. So I'll put that in. That'll certainly help, and that also helps with just resources and food. I don't know what it does after that, a squalor. Eh, that's not the end of the world, because this one sorts out that, that counteracts. That's perfect. We will keep that perfectly as it is then. Um, and yeah, that's kind of it. That's all we can really spend our money on. I'm going to end the turn again. Hopefully we can get a battle in at some point in this episode, if we can find a Roman army to fight, or hope, well... Maybe we'll fight someone else. Maybe it won't be a Roman army. It may be the Burgundians right now. They don't look like they're getting any happier. Let's see. Hmm. This may be a bit of a concern, but we have a full stack here, so I'm not too worried. Yeah, it looks like the Western Romans are going to... Well, they're going to take this back, possibly. Hmm, that's interesting. We'll see whether they what they do here. I mean, it's clearly got enough armies to. They're clearly not fighting enough people to be able to take the offensive. That's interesting. They've lost Illyria clearly, but um, because they've now appeared. Okay, Britannia Inferior is now uh, under threat of rebellion, so we'll move our army into Lindum for this turn. This will go uh, neutral for now. That is fine. Um, yeah, I need to sort out the Burgundians. That was something that I should have sorted out a little while ago. Let's see what happens here. Non-aggression. Moderate. They'll accept. That's fine. Trade. Still won't accept trade. Well, I'm going to offer them some money for a bit of trade. See if that sweetens the deal. No. But now they've got non-aggression, there's no real threat. Let's see if we can offer a little bit more. Oh, no, no. I'll, I'll offer. Hmm. I'm not that desperate for it. They can come and get it when they want it. Uh, these guys have also got trade, but there's, they hate us, so that's never going to happen. So, who were the Burgundians at war with then? No one. So why are you in my lands? You were probably were getting ready for an assault, weren't you? And you were just going to sit here? But, I mean, both these armies are pretty awful. My, uh, well, I say Saxon spears are better, but they're probably not. No, probably not. They probably cost a little bit more as well. Um, but anyway, we will... We will sort that out. Um, I think the food stake here is fine, so that's good. It's just happiness, which we are sorting out. 
as we speak. And can I upgrade? No, I imagine oh, I need quite a lot to upgrade smith to a smithy. So I don't know if I can. Um, I may just end the turn again and see if we can find out anything to do. Anything to do in the faction while we're here. Um, no, Elsa can't become anything. You could become a judge. Do that. Guess that's worthwhile. Um, and this boy is my heir. He's not doing very well. <laughs> He's not doing much, to be honest. I'd like to give him a good army so I can send him off to go fight some of the Franks and maybe the uh, Western Romans as well. But I do also need to keep aware of like this border here because the Romans are starting to push up and I don't like the look of that. So we'll have to deal with that in time as well. And hopefully we can avoid open conflict with the Romans here. Well, especially with the Huns on the way. We don't really want to have to fight the Romans and the Huns. Be squashed between the two. Hopefully we can avoid fighting the Huns at all completely. Appease them. Yeah, the Burgundians clearly were getting ready for an attack. They're now leaving their own lands. Uh, back to their own lands. Those sneaky men. They were just going to just sit there and do what I usually do. and Sit outside your lands and then when you're ready, attack. A tactic that always works. Unless you're fighting another player. Then they're going to probably realise. The Eastern Roman Empire still seem to be in sort of intact. Okay, there's a Roman army there. It's gone to Wales. May need to keep an eye on that. Possibly going down to Corinum. So I may chase that if a rebellion rises up. Well, after I've dealt with this rebellion. And then our Imperium has gone up. Okay, that's that's good. Um, assassinated someone. Yeah, well, I don't have any spies. And I'm not too bothered about it. Um, I shall... Influence... Uh, let's do political favours. Let's spend a little less. Yeah, the Romans have retaken their land here. That's good for them. The Franks are down here now. Uh, we also have technology that we need to do. So, we've now got... Well, we've done that one. What were we doing? So, were we completing that? Weren't we? Craftsman specialists. Um, hmm. I will do this for three turns. Just so we can complete it. So, we get recruitment costs down for all... Units that aren't mercenaries, which is basically all I recruit, so that's good. Uh, we now have plenty of money. We can now put in this for a smithy, so which I'll do. I'll cost a lot less. Well, it costs a little less because of our technology, actually, um, which just brings down uh, industrial building costs by 5%. Excellent. There was no rebellion here, so that's good. Uh, I'm going to try and chase down this army. I'm not going to let it go and just take Corinum. And there it is. Okay. Can they get by? They could possibly get by there. I'm going to just stay outside. And... Oh, what's the garrison like here? Probably pretty. It's okay. It's got a fleet, which is more of a concern. This is a 13 stack. That's not terrible. But it's not... It's not... It certainly could beat us. It's a Roman 13 stack as well, you got to remember. So, Romans are always better than barbarians. You've just got to bring a lot of armies as a barbarian. How is it looking on the, uh, wrong one, on the, it's 25%, we need 35% to start converting, so, we, that should be done in a few turns time, so we might actually then want, not want to convert Londinium anytime soon, and that should sort itself out then, and we can turn to Latin Christianity, and jobs are good and, um, we'll probably have to convert this, but that shouldn't cost too much, we don't have one here, that should also be fine. Latin Christianity is slowly going up, but it'll take a bit of time. People are probably going to start to hate us for being Latin and Christian. but So we're going to have to secure some allies. But we should be okay. I look forward to your wisdom. But I trust you will not Military ally. Wine first. Hmm. Let's try and get some money out of you first. If you're going to be so open that you want a military alliance. 800. There we go, yep, there we go. Then the Makamans clearly are in a bit of trouble and would like our help. Um, public order, it's slowly going up here. Not quite yet, though. I would like to put in a food place here, get some more food going. Let's get some passages on the way, because that's what I was planning to do, I'm pretty sure, a few episodes ago before the Langobards attacked and we had to spend our money elsewhere. 
And that's kind of... Ooh, no, 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 no. We don't want to abandon this settlement. No, no, no. I was wondering if I could convert it, but not yet, because obviously we haven't converted to Latin Christianity just yet. Um, I would like to get some more mercenary Nordic Axemen. Well, we could just get the normal ones. More spears could be handy. These cav, if they ever got cheaper, would be nice as well. Um, we'll end the turn. Oh, we've got an unsigned skill. Right. Um, ha you're a governor, so you're not really needing either of those. You can have corruption, and you can have... Hmm. What does this one do? Melee defense, not so interested about that. Don't re I mean, this one's kind of handy for being a governor, but it's not end of the world again. Um, if you can get authority up, that'd be great. Zeal, also, well, doesn't really help actually in this scenario. Um, there we go. Have a stag. There you go. You improve in public order there. Straight off the bat. Excellent. End the turn. Let's see what happens in this end turn. Hopefully the Western Roman Empire does some more attacking of the Makamans be quite good. Ah, well it looks like they're they're getting ready for an attack on the Makamans, but nothing much yet. Look, interesting what the Franks are doing here. This is clearly going after someone new. Franks are going to make themselves a little bit of an, an empire. Um, but yeah, let's, let's just quick. Who are the Franks at war with then? At war with the Picts? Yet, yeah. So they're cl clearly just sending armies off to hunt down hordes. Very bizarre. The wooden men, but hey. Um, and the Romans have gone into... Why do they do that? That is bizarre. I could actually attack with Boracum now because I don't think they can reach. I'm going to try it. We'll attack a Boracum or Ibaracum, however you say it. I think it's a Boracum. Um, let's just take the siege towers and then we should be okay. The Linden will be a bit damaged by it, but that's not the end of the world. But we'll see what happens. Um money. We've got lots of money. We could spend we could put it in Lindum. I would like to spend it somewhere else, hopefully, but there's nothing just yet. That's very expensive, but it's very, very good for us. Um, um could put a fields in. I'm just wondering actually converting to Latin Christianity, will it actually mean that a lot we have to convert all of our buildings? If that's the case, that's not the end of the world. Okay, it's going down all of a sudden now. Interesting. I'd like it to keep going up, because <laughs> it's really, really helping. Can I upgrade? No, I can convert. Don't really want to do that, like I said. Um, this has still got five turns, that should be okay. I'm going to just put in... Let's put in... Hmm... Put in more passages. I know we've. I don't really care about Saxon skirmishes. I would rather get the cavalry. I know we can get it in somewhere else, but it also brings in the most money. It doesn't bring in the most food. And, but food's fine. It's not the end of the world. I can always convert it if we ever need to get food in. I'm not fussed about losing that. Um, we look okay on the diplomatic side of things. The Quadians are. Wow, the Quadians are all the way down here. Jeez, they're actually doing quite well. Um. And Liria is doing okay. They're trading with the Western Roman Empire. That's interesting. They broke away and then allied themselves basically to their own to their own overlords, um, or their old overlords. Uh, I might recruit some units. We have a lot of money. Let's recruit some units. Let's get some. These pikes are pretty handy. Saxon spears are always good. Let's get a couple of Saxon spears in. Um, and let's get some Nordic brigade. Nordic brigade could be pretty handy. A few light swords always to get around the flanks always handy. I 
Let's see what happens in this end turn. Let's see whether anything happens. I doubt it, but um, might just something might happen. I would like to see what the Franks do. Um, see whether they go after anyone new. They might try and I don't know. I would have thought they would go for the Roman Empire by now. Yeah, the Roman Empire is taking back land. That is great to see. And they're going to come and fight me here. We may just have ourselves a battle. Excellent, excellent. Um, this is certainly winnable. It's whether we can beat that other army before they all arrive. They've got cohorts. I think this is winnable. Uh, I'm going to fight this. So I will see you guys on the battlefield in a moment when we take on the Romans. Okay, so we are back on the battlefield and the plan is, as usual... Oh, uh, to basically just Nordic bows and Nordic hurlers out front. Skirmish bowed. We'll put them in uh, like a spread formation just just so they don't get hit by their own by opposing uh, archers. But there aren't too many of them so that's not the end of the world. We'll put... I guess I'll just put all these guys in a huge line. Actually no, we'll put Saxon spears in one line have these levies as a support because they're a bit crappy and then we'll have Nordic Brigades on the flank to support and then the general can just go behind here and we're good to go and then we'll take this hill and we should be okay we just need to beat this army well before the reinforcements arrive which isn't many but it's more Romans and they had Legio in their army so I'm a bit concerned about them yeah, they've got reinforcements, I imagine. Oh, they are off to the side. Okay. And they brought Cav. Okay, that is a bit worrying. Well, that Nordic levy may be needed to go and hold off against this formation here. If the Cav just attacks me head on, then that's also perfectly fine. I am going to just offshoot one of these units over here. Now, where are you going to? You're going to here. Go to about there. And then you can guard against that cavalry, which is already making a beeline for us. Um, you turn like so, you turn like so. I'm a bit concerned, but not too badly. The Cav can join them, that's fine. Oh, they have artillery. Okay, we can't stick around. Up we go. Let's get ever so slightly closer. Here comes the cavalry. Already. Oh, it's not looking good for this uh, uh, for these uh, poor spears. Let's get them into combat. Actually, let's get all of the Saxon spears up to about here. Form sort of a form a line. Uh, we need to get that artillery out of there immediately. Can you go in, please? Fight these men. Fight these guys. Who's breaking? Oh, it's her swords, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, more spears are on the flank. Can you focus these guys down? Focus these guys down. Come on. General up for support. You shoot the general in the back. Surround these guys. Oh, it's an okay hit, actually. Okay, we're bro breaking that cav. That's fine. Um, secure back here. Go in. Where did that sword unit... The sword's gone. Okay, the swords are well and well and truly gone. General is under attack. Um, yeah, I imagine that's just because... We're, well, mm -hmm. do we send him in? I'm going to just put him around this flank. You're quite happy to fight there, so we'll surround you. Okay, cavalry is attacking. Not great. Um, can you shoot them all down, please? As long as they try and shoot my archers in the back, that's perfectly fine. They can shoot all my archers all day long. But they're not. They are still trying to go for my general. Not a fan of that. But they're out of ammo. So that's good. They've got Celtic Onager. Okay, the Cav's gone. Brilliant. 
Um, you all set up here. Start shooting all these guys in the back. That Celtic levy's got to hold for a long, long time. Shoot all those guys there. We are winning that fight there against the general, so there's no need to go in there. Comments the go in against the commentiensis and rally everything here. What's well, given up? The jet. Okay, they've all given up. That's fine. All we have to do is harass these guys with our slingers, and then we should be fine. We should break this general, and that'll probably route the lot. General is slowly breaking, but it's taken a while. Come on. We're also fighting against this Comitiensis, which is a problem. Come on, General, you can break. Oh, not what I wanted. Keep shooting there. Not good, not good, not good. The General's not going to break anytime soon, it would seem. We need some more infantry just to go and deal with these guys. I need to free up some stuff. Here we go. Freeing up stuff. There we go. We freed up more stuff. Right, you get around the back. Oh, no, not you. You get around the back. Um, enemy general is dead. Excellent. Right, that'll break this lot. Uh, shoot these guys in the back. Send our levies up, they can deal with the problem there in hand. Shoot these guys in the back, excellent. Right, charge in, kill these men. Good to see, we're finally breaking some Romans for once. Shoot these guys, shoot these guys. But more men breaking, Bro, that's not so good. Can we not have that? But these Romans are... Very low, low to dying as well. They're like almost dead. Good, good, good. Right. Shoot these guys. What are these? Oh, these are Western Palatinas. So they're not. They're going to be pretty good. That's probably why they were doing so well. Should send the men in. I could do it actually right in those arches. Um, can you all come over here this time? Go over in that direction. Yep, they're breaking very nicely. They're out of ammo. Um, send them in, get some final kills. That archer's unit's breaking. That's that's not the end of the world. Um, oh no! Right, I'm gonna just quickly kill some of these men a bit quick, a bit quicker. Let's see if we can get any of these guys left. Especially these cohorts. Always good to kill some of them off. Um, you keep killing these Palatina, please. And then we'll just fast forward for a little bit. See if we can do any damage. Kill some of these guys. Look at these poor guys. These poor Lego. They're just like, oh god, where do we go? And they're just getting chased down by slingers. Always good. Excellent. Excellent. Just kill these boys. Kill them. Kill them all. Right. Um, yeah, chase these Lego Palatina down. They're very, very key to kill because they're part of the garrison kill most of the garrison we win this battle basically uh, I guess chase him down but it's not the end of the world we'll see what happens and how badly damaged is that unit over here Lego 44 it's not the end of the world a close victory it probably was we lost a few units we probably shouldn't have lost like those I mean we lost his mercenaries they're actually not that bad to lose we mainly lost mercs and levies, and that's fine. I'm fine with losing both of them. Uh, we, they're easily replaceable. Shows their worth, doesn't it? They're e easily replaceable. Anyway, we killed this army. And now we can see what happens at the rest of the end of the turn. I imagine the Romans are basically now beaten in Britain, because that's their final real big legion. Okay, that was the only unit we lost was the Legio Nordic Warbands. Well, we can replace them just as what easily. They've got two huge legions in the south, in like southern Germany, like on the in the Alps. Like it's, that's not good.
Not good at all, but it's fine. We've we've killed some people off. Noble birth. Ah, good. And another noble birth. Always good. Noble births after a great battle. Uh, Borokum, we can just assault as so. 164 men isn't really worth my time. Uh, we will occupy. Ready for orders. And there we go. I'm going to repair that. I'm going to repair that. Repair that. And I'm going to knock that down. And actually, no, I'm going to knock that down. Uh, now, what is the religion looking like? It's still going down. Not a big fan of that. I won't lie. Um, this one is... It's making it religious paganism better. Not sure if I'm also wanting that to happen. I'm going to change this to... Um, plus four for judgment. Uh, basically, it's the presence of paganism helps, but it's not actually going to convert anyone now. Um, and I'm going to put in integrity and also... That's really good that that army was fighting as well. Morale plus six versus Romans. That's going to probably be key against that lot. That we just fought. That load of... Uh, let's make them immune to snow attrition. What was the first one? Yeah. Now they're immune to snow attrition. That's excellent. Um, I could replace that Nor Nordic unit. Um, I'm not so fussed about it. I'd like to add some cav. And these guys aren't too expensive. They're like melee. Yeah, I'm going to add you, and I will take that other Nordic unit back. So this is up to 19 now, and it's not looking too bad. Excellent. Will there be a rebellion? Possibly. Am I too worried? Not really. Not really. Um, let's put... Judge on, and let's also have... Cavalry commander could be handy. Now we have cavalry in this army. Economy's looking okay, looking a little rough, but that is fine. Um, we've built some stuff and we're building more stuff here anyway to improve the economy. And also it allows us to get better units, which is always good. Um, I will probably save the rest of my money unless there's anything I can desperately spend it on. I'm slowly trying to get the religion to change. It's still, yeah, it's still not great should sort itself out soon and we should be able to then convert to latin christianity and basically sort out all these like settlement issue problems basically not available to my faction yada 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 well i don't care we're gonna be able to use it soon across along with the rest of, across the empire because that's the aim use it across the empire but anyway legionnaires if you've enjoyed this episode and you want to see more please do leave a like comment and subscribe and if you also want to get involved in the channel then do join the papal legion discord that is down below in the description and until next time guys